This is the Similink model of incremental conductance MPPT for a solar PV system with a boost converter. In this video, I'll demonstrate this model to show you how much accurate this MPPT technique is. If you want to buy this model, just send me an email on my email address given in the description of this video. Please, don't mention your email address in a public comment. You may also find a link for price details in the description of this video. Let's keep the temperature constant at 25 degree Celsius and plot 4 and PV characteristics of this PV array at different irradiances. Let's plot the PV curve for 1000 watts per meter square irradiance. Let's delete this current versus voltage curve and find maximum power point on the power versus voltage curve. Adjust the limits of Y axis to have a clear look, to help us find the exact value of MPP. The value of power at maximum power point is 0.998 into 10 raised to power 4, or 9980 watts. Now let's simulate the model and see the power output of the PV array. You can see the power output of PV array is same as MPP. Now let's change the iridance to 800 watts per meter square and find the maximum power point from the PV characteristics plot. The power at MPP is almost 8000 watts. Let's start the simulation. The maximum power has been extracted from the PV array. Now let's change the irradiance value to 500 watts per meter square and find the maximum power point from the PV characteristics plot. The power at MPP is almost 4981 watts. Let's simulate the model to see the results. Now let's keep the irradiance constant at 1000 watts per meter square and simulate the model for different values of temperature. Let's make the temperature value 10 degrees Celsius and see the power versus voltage graph to find the point of maximum power at this temperature. Here, select the option array at 1000 watts per meter square, and put temperature value of 10 degrees Celsius here and plot the characteristics of PV array to see the value of power at maximum power point. The value of power at MPP is 1.06 into 10 raised to power 4. Now, let's simulate the model. Here, the power output is 1.59 into 10 raised to power 4, same as the value at MPP found from the PV characteristics. Let's change the value of temperature here to 50 degrees Celsius and plot the fourth and PV characteristics.
Power value at MPP is 8940 watts. Let's start simulation and see the power output of PV array. Again the maximum power has been extracted from the PV array. All the results of different temperatures and irradiances proves that this MPPT technique is properly designed and is accurately extracting the maximum power from the PV array. So, if you want to buy this Simulink model just contact me on my email address given in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.